All right, y'all, this is part four. This is the last part of this series. And uh, what I'm doing here is just drilling for the shelf pins using that Craig jig. And I'm cutting down the shelves that are gonna be going inside. I believe there's 10 shelves and then I cut an extra one just in case the customer would like to have an extra shelf. And this right here, I'm cutting down some uh, Spanish cedar that's gonna go on the front of those shelves just to cover up, cover up the plies. And uh, right now I'm measuring and drilling for the knobs, the door knobs. I'm enjoying a nice little cigar, cleaning the hole out, putting the screw in, putting the knob on, still enjoying my cigar. And uh, I'm gonna use some fasteners and I'm gonna use some magnets. And here I'm drilling for the magnets. Um, just uh, using a Forstner bit, using some epoxy to put those magnets in place. And I'm using a center finder right here so I can press the door up against it so I know exactly where to drill for this magnet. And here they are, they just close right on up. Boop. And uh, separating shelves between the bottom casing and the top casing, I'm just using my router here to cut through. Um, using spacers so I can get them all spaced appropriately and at the same distance, just kind of make it look nice. This just allows the humidity to come through from the bottom where the humidifier is going to be at. There's a close up of that. And now I've got the Spanish cedar here and I am um, cutting down this board and this is, I'm going to start constructing the, the baskets. Um, I didn't get great footage of these baskets. Um, I started making the baskets like I normally do and I figured out a way to do it that's um, easier and personally what I feel like is better. Um, one of the things I was going to do after I, I, I cut these out on the bandsaw, I was going to use the, uh, the pattern that I made with the half inch plywood and then use my pattern bit to make everything nice and pretty. And then I got to thinking to myself, this was stupid. It'd be easier just to put a couple of these boards together and run them ac across my jointer. Made it way easier and a lot quicker. And uh, well, like you go, like you say, you live and you learn. So there I am getting the top, switching the clamps around, getting the bottom. And just like that, too easy. And now I'm cutting them down into 3 16 inch strips. Once again, just using my table saw just a little at a time with each pass, then I raise it up. And um, this is where I kind of did things differently. And you're not going to see how I, I did it because I didn't get it filmed. But normally I put those little grooves in there. And then as you can see how I'm doing on this one, um, I'm gluing those little strips in place. But I did that one, didn't like it, threw it away, and found another way to do them. And I'll probably make a video on that. Just, just making the baskets themselves. Um, here I'm drilling for the locks. Bloop, like that, huh? Putting the lock in. And um, now on each of the individual shelves, I'm cutting these little slits. Once again, allows that humidity to come up from the bottom and circulate throughout. And uh, here's the final product. Minus the glass. I need to get this video out. Still ain't got the glass in there, but you know what? When that glass is in there, it's probably pretty much gonna look like it does right now. It's gonna be clear. So I hope y'all enjoyed this series. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.